I am about to go on stage for a Hasbro the game show. We've got Ryan and Mike out there right now getting ready to pop the crowd. I am ready for a good Hasbro tonight. We've got such a great crowd this cruise. It's going to be so much fun. Look at this light. It's kind of funky. Ooh, look at that. Uh, so yeah, we've got Hasbro tonight. We've got Scotsman tonight. We've got Quest tonight. Um, I've got some news for you. I'm going to tell you very shortly after this little clip. But keep watching. I love your faces. Now you're probably wondering, Chris, where are you? Are you in a, a laundry shop or, you know, have you left Carnival and started washing clothes for a living? No, I've not. Um, I'm backstage. Uh, some of the guys, this is the changing room, some of the guys are uh, getting their clothes washed uh, for the from the shows. I'm just going to fix that so it looks better. Um, so all the costumes in here are, are getting washed, like mic belts and all the good stuff. Uh, they do this every single week, of course, to get ready for the big, big production shows. We've got a great cast on here, uh, the Dreamcast. Uh, let me tell you who we've got. We've got some great performers. We've got Drew. We've got Cody. We've got Max. We've got Matthew. We've got your cast manager, Carissa. She's lovely. We've got Ellie, Ashley, Jess as well. So uh, if you're coming to cruise with us on a dream, you're going to have a blast with these guys. Remember, the shows we've got on here are Motor City, the Motown show. We've got 80s pop to the max, which is a lot of fun. Uh, Flick, The Power of Motion Pictures, which is my all-time favourite. I love it to bits. And then, of course, America Rocks, which is the classic rock show. So these are the shows you'll see on a cruise. And, of course, Lip Sync Battle, where your cast will be involved. Um, so I just thought I'd take a couple of minutes. Uh, it is now 8.48pm. I've got a bit of a stuffy nose. Like, uh, uh. And um, basically, I'm just backstage getting ready for Scotsman. Um, I couldn't find my waistcoat, so I'm wearing my jacket tonight for a change. Just changing it up. But um, we got some news today, which was not great. The weather in Mahogany Bay today was absolutely terrible. It was just wet, 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 wet. So it's not nice. My wife comes next week. She's not happy because she really wants sun. Because back home in England, it's been absolutely terrible weather. So she really wants some hot weather. So <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, but basically, we, um, we were in Mahogany Bay today and it was really wet all day. Not a great weather for people on vacation. And then tomorrow we're supposed to be going to Belize. But of course, we're due exceptionally bad weather once again, which is going to be wet and windy. And whenever you're on a ship and it's a tender boat, it's uh, extremely dangerous and not advised for tenders to come and pick you up and take you to the pier because it's so rocky. And the thing is, our guests would not be getting the best experience out of the whole entire thing. So we made a little deviation. God, I feel like that's all I'm doing at the moment. Uh, we are literally going from here to Cozumel, which we are supposed to go to on Friday. So we're going to go to Cozumel first. And then we're going to go to Progreso. So Progreso is going to be the, the port and place of Belize. And I understand people really want to see Belize for the ruins and stuff like that. But to be honest, with the weather being that bad, it's not going to be a great day for you. So we're literally going to go to um, Progreso, which I have never actually been to. I feel terrible. My geography is horrendous. I mean, horrendous. Basically, I thought Progreso was close to San Diego. Don't laugh at me. Please don't. I'm just terrible. I don't know the west to the east or the north to the south. But I've been to a place in Mexico, but it was called Ensenada, which is nowhere near Progreso. So I was excited because that Ensenada, for me, has a McDonald's. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to go to McDonald's tomorrow, get a Big Mac. That's what I'm going to do on Friday, sorry. No, that's Ensenada, Chris. You need to start learning geography. Progreso is different. Progreso, you have to travel about 50 minutes from the port to get to like all the main places. But I have heard there's a Domino's pizza, so I'm, I may treat myself to a Domino's. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's what's happening this cruise. Then we're literally going to take that little detour tomorrow to Cozumel, then of course to Progreso. Then Saturday we're to see, and then Sunday, the wife is here. Kimberly gets here on Sunday, early morning, and then she's here for three weeks. Three weeks she's going to be on board cruising, which is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to see her. And then after that, it's uh, I've got two weeks left, and then I'm home. So it's really, really nice. It's going to build up to Christmas. But I don't know if you know this yet, but I thought I'd let you know. In three weeks' time, the day that Kimberly leaves... My young 19-year-old brother gets here, the Carnival Dream, to start his first ever big job as a Carnival Dream Fun Squad member. So he's going to be on here with me uh, for the first couple of weeks. 
to show him the ropes. Uh, he's going to be doing all the trivias, the games, the parties. He's going to be here. And then I go on vacation, but when I come back in January, he'll still be here until the end of April. So uh, two, two brothers working together uh, in an entertainment team. It's going to be interesting. Uh, it's been done before, though. Uh, if you've ever cruised before with Carnival, there was a cruise director called Kevin Noonan. And Kevin was my boss for, for a long time. And his brother was called Mitch. And they worked together, his first contract, and then he let Mitch go and do his own thing. And that's the plan that I want to do. I want to show Steve and my brother the ropes and then go, bye-bye, enjoy Carnival. So now my sister works for Carnival, I work for Carnival, my brother works for Carnival. We are becoming the Von Trapp family. It's crazy. So uh, it's all happening. Uh, I'll, I'll see what's happening over the next couple of days. I may get some footage. And uh, remember, stay awesome. Keep tuning in. Keep subscribing. We're at 18 and a half. 1,850 subscribers today for the YouTube channel. We just hit 7,000 likes on Facebook, which is like, I've been, when I joined as a cruise director, I had 800 likes a year ago on my Facebook page when I wasn't a cruise director. In the year, I've gained like just over six and a half, six thousand uh, subs uh, people liking the page, and uh, I, I, it's it's growing and growing every week. So it's really good. Uh, uh, if you've looked at the Facebook page, I have released a new CD. It's coming up, which is I'm really excited. I booked myself into the recording studio back home the second week in December. It's if all goes to plan, that's the idea, and uh, I'm basically recording a rock opera album. So it's kind of like a half of rock and a half of opera to give the guests a little bit of something else. Uh, I'm in the process of picking the songs for it. So if you've got any suggestions, drop them in the comments down below. Drop them in the YouTube comments. Tell me what one songs you would love to hear on there. Uh, I've got an idea of what I'm going to add in. I think I've got about eight songs that I'm definite on. But there are one or two that I'm like, oh, I'll see what I can get. So any suggestions, drop them down below or drop it in the Facebook page. Let me know what you think. So uh, stay awesome. Love you loads. And bye-bye. It's really wet. Ugh. All right, everybody, Carnival Vlog family. This is Chris on site, the lovely Carnival Dream, and today is a special day. Uh, it sounds a bit loud with music, yes, it is, but we are here today for the Build a Bear 20th anniversary. Uh, this is a massive, massive event. Build a Bear has been going for 20 years, and it's been with Carnival for the last two years, I believe. Uh, and today we've got this amazing thing I have to show you. It's like all the beautiful things like this. Check this out. Down here. What? Look at that! Look at all the cakes and biscuits and everybody. And there's all of our amazing youth team on board. They are making all the bears from scratch. But it's just unbelievable to look at. So check this out build a bear it's one of my favorite things on board come and cruise with us on the carnival dream and happy 20th anniversary to build a bear workshop guys it's the end of another vlog i'm glad you've watched and you've tuned in this week uh, lots of crazy things have happened of course with the build a bear 20th anniversary and all the great things we broke a world record with the world's longest conga tunnel on the lido it was amazing uh, so once again thank you for uh, joining us now folks instagram is lighting up this week it's been amazing it's been getting more likes and if you follow on instagram you get a lot more behind the scenes stuff uh, there's uh, a picture a day on Instagram so if you join me on Instagram you get a picture today which is a lot of fun so uh, it's very cold today in New Orleans I'm here I'm ready to go and do my usual which of course is Starbucks GameStop and maybe grab some food uh, so I'm getting ready for all that and of course Kimberly is on board oh my god she's here so Kimberly's here and uh, we're getting ready for our three weeks and another cruise on the carnival dream keep tuning in keep watching stay awesome love you loads